Hello everybody, my name is Benji and welcome back to Mindustry Eric Your Update, where today we're going to be launching into Aegis, the secondary zone. Enemy is protected by shields, an experimental shield breaker module has been detected in this sector. Locate this structure, supply it with tungsten ammunition, and destroy the enemy base. Alright, launch. Ooh, I start with the base! The enemy will begin constructing units in seven minutes. Enemy detection, seven minutes out. So we have a bit of a base already. Uh, first things first that I'm noticing here is that I have reinforced conduits. Overflow duct, underflow duct, okay. Impact drill, probably a better drill. Vent condenser, I think that has to do with liquids, probably. Radar, interesting. And we don't have nearly enough beryllium for anything else. And it looks like we are already mining beryllium, so that's good. Any more beryllium I can take advantage of? Probably at least a little bit. Let's go find that radar, though. Uh, it uses silica. Of course it uses silica. Why wouldn't it use silica? Ah, more beryllium here. That's going to be my first objective, is to take this beryllium and turn it into my wonderful home usage. I need this beryllium very badly. And then I can probably also just go on ahead and take all of this graphite and just have this be an independent independent graphite production only thing. Yep, this is going to take a hot second. What is this? Tungsten. Is that what the impact drill is for? Ah, it is. So the impact drill is not an upgraded version of the other one. <clears throat> it's something very specifically for this. Okay, cool. Cool. Understood. So while I'm setting all of this up, I'm not going to make you guys watch. Uh, if anything of note happens, I'll bring it back in. But for now, I'm just going to tap all of this. I'm going to get silica production going by mining one of these cliff edges here. Uh, I'm going to get tungsten going. I'll probably bring you guys back in for that. And I'll set up some defenses along the edge here. Because it looks like we're going to have to defend against the edge of all of this. In some way, shape, or form. So I'll bring you guys back in a second. Alright, so I got silica online over here. And these guys, the impact drills, require water and power. So these need 12 per second, and the turbine condensers produce 5 per second, which means if I hook up, I don't know, 1, 2... And a bit into one reinforced liquid router, and then do that, and then that. I knew there was one more just to make sure that the drills run optimally, I, I guess. Go ahead and do that, and then I can actually just straight up get rid of this. And just do that instead. And if my calculations are correct, that'll run all of these properly. Ooh, that's cool. So instead of spilling liquid onto the ground, it just instantly vaporizes because the planet is hot, I guess? Or the atmosphere is hot, I guess? That's kind of what I'm getting out of this. Yeah, because it like is instantly vaporizing the water. Which is kind of cool. Not gonna lie. 
And then, oh yeah, they also <laughs> need power. They also need power, and they also need a way to get their resources back to the core. So let's go on ahead and do that as well. And then I'll do this for power. Yeah, the water is a little lackluster. Yeah, and look at that. It, like, charges itself up and then gives us tungsten. Container. Container. Armored conduit. Interesting. Tungsten wall. Nothing else of use. So next up, I want to try the radar. Oh, it's slow. Intriguing. See, but now I can get rid of that because I don't need it there anymore. And I can instead start advancing out this direction with my radars. So build the power, build the radar. See, what does it do for me? Holy mother of tungsten. Shield breaker temp name slash sprite. I guess maybe, should we keep the radars maybe? So my objective, let me see, map objective. Enemy is protected by shields. Experimental shield breaker module has been detected. Locate it, supply with tungsten, and destroy the enemy. Destroy the enemy base. So yeah, supply with tungsten. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's get some condensers. And let's get ourselves an impact drill and cover as much of this as we possibly can, 125, that'll work. And then grab our water, run it up. Because yes, these guys now mean extra power, but they're more than just extra power. They're also now water source which is fun kind of like that kind of like the fact that they're water sources as well now I like that a lot actually granted our beryllium costs are still through the absolute roof it is not all connected? Oh. Oh no. It just shut down my entire power grid. That's what just happened. Uh, oh boy. Um. Well, what exactly do I do about that? Minus 122. Yeah, it's the whole grid. The whole grid's connected to itself. Um. I guess get rid of the radar? Oh, well, I mean, that helped a little bit. It didn't exactly solve my problem, though. Get rid of the graphite processing. Still in the negatives. I guess get rid of you. Destroy large shield projector. Well, I don't know where that is. There, power's back in the net positive. We're fine at this point. Do you need power? I guess not. Alright, well, let's keep scouting then. And depending on what this finds...
There's the shield. Alright, good to know. So the enemies are going to be coming from this direction. Let's see if we can find out exactly where. Okay. Cool. So now, I can set up a little bit of a defense. Just a small one. Nothing crazy. But a small defense that'll hopefully be able to keep some things at bay. Come on, pipes. And time to just build. <laughs> and then I'm probably going to end up building some units as well. Uh, and then seeing what... Oh. Oh, it just blew up. And that took out the shield. Well, I mean, I'm still going to need units. But at least now I guess I can take this and put it into this pipe instead. Let's do that. My power is still barely breaking even and I'm out of power production areas. Like I'm out, I'm, I'm literally out. I wish, I wish, I wish there was another power generation method. I'm sure that there is, and I just haven't found it yet, but still. I want more power. Yeah, we're still barely breaking even now. But, on the bright side, I can get rid of one radar, and that'll help with the power, at least a little bit. I think I'm also just gonna get rid of this one, because it's not producing that fast anyway, so... I'm not exactly interested in that. Yeah, I'm not exactly interested in that, thanks. So that'll help with the power grid at least a little bit more. Which will allow us to strengthen our sand just a little bit. Because our sand is hurting like crazy right now. Granted, I shouldn't be shocked. Sand is hard to get in this game. Sand was so easy to get in Serpulo. Serpulo, however you say it, I don't care. It was so easy to get. It's so much more difficult to get in this game. Or in this zone, rather. Okay. <clears throat> now. Uh tank manufacturer here and here router router belt belt and belt not there belt and belt router belt Does that work? We're gonna find out. It looks like it does. It looks like it just needs more beryllium. Boy, don't we all. Eh. 
And it killed my power grid anyway. So I guess once this finishes... One point... Wait, what? 2k? 2k is all I can hold? That's it? Does anything here hold, carry... <sighs> Nothing here requires silica, so whatever. Alright, I'm gonna build some units and try to fix my power grid before that happens. Sad. Oh well, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, we have a decent bit of an army now. So I think we're good to go on ahead and start moving in. Clear out some of this fog of war. We only have one enemy core. Oh shoot. Why do they automatically move there? Well, he's dead. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know why they automatically moved there. It just seems stupid. Why don't I get fired at? Because I can't do damage, I guess? Intriguing that they keep moving to here in order to fire there. I don't think I exactly have enough power to run two of these bad boys. I mean, no, no, I do. I do. Never mind. I do. So if I have power to run two of them and resources to run two of them, which I'll kill my power grid in order to achieve, I don't care. That didn't even kill my power grid. Look at that. We just need more units. We need fast. We need more units faster. <laughs> We're not getting that. <laughs> it's annoying. Does this have like a building damage percentage? Thirty percent building damage. Yeah. One hundred twenty-three point seven five using tungsten ammo. So I've got plus five hundred roughly. How much does the impact drill use? 160. So hell, why why am I not doing this? Because I still need the tungsten for research. Like, there's a lot of things here that use tungsten that I'm nowhere even close to with my research. Still says power output 180. I'm confused why it's not actually doing anything. Yeah, see, I can't do any damage. That almost got through me. Okay, well, you know what that means, folks. That means we get a second one. <laughs> We get more turrets. How many units do we have? Not enough to try again. Not yet, at least. We will in due time, but right now we do not. Already took that one offline. I was like, hell, I'll even take this one offline. Well, it's already offline, I'm stupid. And yeah, silica flow and graphene flow, or graphite flow, whatever flow is bad. Because all of my silica and all of my graphite are going to unit production. Luckily, it's not wave-based. It's only unit-based, so... That's going to be the most that we ever get out of them. Why? No.
He's using my pathing against me. Like, there's that little bit there, and I hit target that, and they just decide, oh, we'll go over here instead. Like, no, I want you to stand here and shoot here so that you're out of range of this one. It's not a hard concept. I don't get why they're not doing what I want them to. Ugh. And they take so long to produce more. Let's see if I can get the whole pathing bit down. Because it seems like if I hit just target, they find their own path. Versus if I hit here target, now what do they do? Now they actually go where I tell them. Okay, good to know. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, so I need to... Fun fact, you need to shift right click on the spot where you want them to stand, and then shift right click on the actual thing that you want them to fire at. Good to know. I'm going to wait for more units. I will be back momentarily. All right, we've got enough. I feel like we can maybe try again. So, right click, right click. Right click. And I want them to just take out the walls right now. Of course, they're going to run into the enemy tanks, and the enemy tanks are going to cause issues. That's fine, I'll just run away for a second. Gather some reinforcements in the meantime. And then tell them all to go back, and just keep destroying these walls. Because if they destroy all of these walls, it's going to be a lot easier for me to go in and get these turrets. Okay, now. Get turret number one. Now get turret number two. I'm not exactly worried about the tank right now. Now get the enemy tank, and then move. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Attack the tank manufacturers, get them offline, and then get the core. Yes, focus fire on the core. Destroy. My core now. What? I was building that. Stupid. And that's that. Little annoying on the pathfinding, but not a big deal. Not a big deal, just a little bit annoying on the pathfinding. It's fine. On, build the core. Now we see everything wonderful that we have access to, which is more power, more beryllium, more graphene, graphite, whatever. I play too many different games that have similar resource names. Now then, the main thing that I'm excited for about all of this is the power. Because more power means more drills on tungsten. And more tungsten means happier banage. So, happier banage is a good thing. At least in my opinion, happier banage is a good thing. Maybe y'all don't feel the same and you want me to be miserable. But that's why I play games like, uh, 
Actually, I don't know if there are any games that I play right now that I'm miserable playing. There have been. I've suffered through games in the past for content's sake. But I don't think I have in a while. Yes, I want to get rid of the walls, but I don't want to get rid of the walls right now because they're annoying. Plus 1.4k. Wow, alright. Ah, issue. These need water as well. So... Uh. That was not something that I had anticipated. Oh well, it's fine. I could route the water the whole way down, but like... I really don't feel like it, so... There's no tungsten up here. Nice. Okay, whatever. I guess let's just take a look at the tech tree. There's still the reinforced container, and the liquid container, and the tungsten walls. Okay, I do care a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna route some water down. I'm gonna get rid of some structures of mine in order to actually route the water down properly. This will decrease on some of our power consumption, actually. Instead, what I'll do is I'll just have this join this. And then, I can just put this back. And now we have our beryllium mining again. Which is nice and fun. Oh, it takes so long. Why does it take so long, guys? Alright, I'll be back in a second, and then we're gonna end, and we will move on to Lake next time. So something interesting that I just noticed is that this actually doesn't get any water unless it's directly coming out of the machine first. You can't just run it along the side in order to have it extract the water. It actually has to be directed out of the thing, just like a armored um, conveyor or an armored whatever, uh, armored pipes in Serpulo. So, something interesting that I noticed, that's all. Uh, in terms of other resources, uh, we're essentially done on this planet, now that we have a lot more tungsten coming in. Like, this is 0.83, this is 1.33, so these two together are like 2-ish, and this is another up to 3 per second. So that's at least nice. It's better than it was. Um, blast door. Intriguing. Still going to be looking into that. But for now, that is going to be everything. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. But without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, das vidania, vida ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves all a fantastic rest of your day. Get some sleep if you need to. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This video is in the bag, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.